Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, let you know what's going on. Some very strange little coincidence came up. Um, so I watch Richie from Boston, love his channel. He's awesome. He's, you know, puts up a couple videos a day. Um, he had a great one up about the protocols of Zion, but somehow it got taken down again. Um, he reports on everything, transhumanism, CERN, chemtrails, you name it. Um, and I wanted to just point out a few things that are relevant to what I need to say. He made a video about Operation Solar Shield, and then last night he put out a video where Harvard claims the conspiracy theorists are making up chemtrails. You, you should really watch these two videos first. And again, this is Richie from Boston's channel. He, like I said, also covers CERN and ITER. Okay, he just put this video up a couple days ago about ITER. I'd never heard of it before until Richie put a video out on it. Um, and you'll see I'm going to come full circle with this. So CERN has, I believe, at least last year, it had... Um, the largest magnet in the world at that facility, or the largest amount of magnets together at that facility. Eider also has incredibly um, large amounts of magnets at that facility. You should go and look at their websites, check out what their, um, you know, basically what their intent is for their experiments and try and put the pieces together. I mean, you have to use your own discernment. You can't just take anyone else's word for it. So this is how I came to make this video. <clears throat> Based on a lot of stuff that I've investigated and people like Nicholson, Richie from Boston, um, little Anthony Patch, um, I was watching Joanne Steen, love her channel, also another person out there making videos a couple times a day. Um, she's from Australia. She's awesome. And I wanted to point out that she did a video uh, about ODD Reality's video about Stranger Things. And if you haven't seen the show, you'll have to watch it, or you'll if you don't care to watch it, you'll have to just investigate what I'm saying. So... Come over and listen to Joanne after you listen to some of the Richie from Boston stuff. And um, you can just, you know, type this into YouTube and see what it is. Um, she basically talks about what he talks about in the video. So I had to go watch the video, which I was pretty sure I had seen, but I watched it again. Okay, so over here is ODD Reality's video about Stranger Things. Okay, and I'm not playing any of this, you know, I don't really care to have any copyright strikes. I don't want to get into that drama. It's just a pain. My whole point, watch the video, okay? Go listen to Richie from Boston about the chemtrails, Operation Solar Shield, um, then Harvard denying, saying the conspiracy theorists are making it up. Um, go listen to his videos um, if you have time about CERN and ITER. It's all relevant to what I want to say here. Okay, so I come over here, I watch the video, and of course, I read the comments. Just like Joanne Steen said, she read the comments and she saw Titus Frost. Okay, that's how come I'm over here. So, I want to have you see that he basically states in his comment, he lives in New England, and like I do, like Richie from Boston does, he has been a paranormal investigator for a while and he built his own device that was an EMF field generator, a small device with a rotating magnet that created a small but highly charged EMF field. Okay, and you just saw, I'm going to click back over here, ELF being used by what? And that's um, low electromagnetically low frequency. Okay, so he's talking about electromagnetic field, Okay, and how when he turned on his device, if there was paranormal activity in the area, that, that the activity would spike and they would start getting evidence. 
okay? So read his whole comment, watch the video. I made a comment down below, but basically this video is going to tell you what I think about it. So if magnets and electromagnetic field enhance paranormal activity and CERN and ITER are about 200 miles apart from each other, which you can go look up. You, you know, do your, do your homework, look it up. Even Richie from Boston shows you that on his video about CERN and ITER. Um, I think it's in the video about ITER. If they're 200 miles apart and they've got some of the largest magnets in the world at those facilities, and those are also areas of... Um, well, they built the, they build these things in places for a reason, where there's like ancient ritualistic sites, or um, they they have their reasons for putting putting these facilities in certain places. And if you do your homework, you'll you'll understand that. So if they here's what came to mind for me, if. CERN is actively trying to contact beings in other dimensions, okay, or contact other dimensions. You know, you got to be contacting a being. I don't know. Um, and I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I just, this is just, they're putting it right in your face and people, people just disregard it. But consider what Titus had to say about the magnets and the electromagnetic field. Consider that they are and have admitted to spraying the atmosphere with aluminum, barium, strontium, and lithium at times. And those are just the things we know. And even Richie goes into depleted blood cells and other things. Um, so they've got heavy metals in the atmosphere. Not only have they admitted it, but proof of that is in the soil samples, um, you know, it's in your water, you can't have a clear day, they're blocking the sun during the times of day when, you know, if you wanted to grow food, that's the prime time to have the sunlight hit your plants in your garden. Um, I, I tried to look the other day, it says in the book of Enoch somewhere that in the last days, basically, um, sorry, that's my phone, that basically your crops aren't going to come up at the proper time. And I don't know. If I find it, I will put a link to it with this, or I'll make another video. Um, I apologize. It really did. I looked and looked and looked, and a lot's been going on this week for me. So anyway, I'm rambling again. But if they're trying to contact other dimensions, and if Eider's trying to have unlimited energy um, by basically you know, a nuclear reaction, and they're saying it's clean energy, so it's all good, right? Well, they said that about nuclear energy, and, and they're not keeping up with the plants, and all the plants are in disrepair, and, and we're having all kinds of problems all over the place. But basically, bear with me here, <laughs> we're trying to contact other dimensions and have unlimited energy. Now, unlimited energy, that sounds all well and good, but do you think the powers that be are going to give it to you for free? Nothing is for free. And look, they even have a little Taurus ring going on here, but that's, you know, <laughs> you'll have to investigate that. Um, if the magnets are t like 200 miles apart and they're the two biggest magnets on the planet uh, or some of the biggest magnets on the planet because that's subject to change as far as I last investigated it, and they turn them on, and there's already paranormal activity in the area, it would, and if Titus, if what he's saying is true, and I believe it, um, because look at what their mission statements are here at CERN and Eider, what do you really think is going to happen when they finally do figure out exactly how to tear that veil and let all these entities into our dimension? I mean, it's going to be magnified, and, and pardon the expression, but it's going to be a shitstorm. It, it really is. And, and people who aren't paying attention to what's going on, they're going to have an excuse for why the world is the way it is and why bad things are happening and it's increasing and uh, what's already happening. But they've got an excuse for everything. Problem, reaction, 
solution. Remember that, Hegelian dialectic. They create the problem, they wait for your reaction, then they provide the solution. If you think we live in a world where you really have freedom of choice or freedom of speech, you really, really need to think again. You just need to stop and take a step back and assess things from a different angle and not assume you know everything because none of us know everything. There is no way to keep up with what's going on without each other. So if they turn these magnets on, say they turn them on and they have them repel each other, what happens then? Does that rip the veil? Does that cause more entities? Does that cause a massive earthquake or upheaval or some other issue? Um, these are just things to think about. Check out the windows I put up in this video and go investigate for yourself. And uh, everybody have a blessed day. Thank you so much for listening.